Hello everyone. Today I'm here to introduce you Qualify HDMI 2.1 automated compliance test software. New FRL tests for HDMI 2.1 physical layer compliance are HFR 1-1 through HFR 1-9. FRL stands for fixed rate link, which is high speed serial data signals from 3 to 12 gigabits per second on up to four lanes, which enables HDMI signaling of up to 48 gigabits per second over the cable. Tests also supported in Qualify are TMDS tests dating back to the 1.4b specification. Qualify HDMI 2.1 runs on either the Labmaster 10ZIA or SDA 8ZIB oscilloscope at 20 gigahertz or above, and sample rate of 80 giga samples per second required by the 2.1 CTS. QFI is run from the oscilloscope's analysis menu. To run the test, select the Acquire Signal Library in the test selector and the desired test to be run. Then press Start. Connect the test setup by following the connection diagram. The test setup includes an HDMI 2.1 TPA fixture and an EDID controller, which are available from wildertech.com or other third party vendors. If using a LabMaster configuration with eight channels, then all FRL and TMDS single-ended and differential tests can be run with a single setup with no user intervention, which significantly reduces test time and user-related errors. Otherwise, Qualify will prompt the user between tests to change the setup. Press OK to run the tests. While the tests are running, the Qualify log window tells the user the progress of tests being run. Multi-lane analysis is used to reduce test time and display eye diagrams for all four FRL lanes at the same time. After all tests are complete, a compliance report is generated, including pass-fail results and screen captures from the tests. This concludes my introduction to Qualify HDMI 2.1 automated compliance test software. In addition to automated physical layer compliance tools, Teledyne LaCroix is a market leader in HDMI protocol analyzers. For more information on Qualify HDMI 2.1 test software, click on the link above or visit us at teledynelacroix.com backslash serial data backslash video.